is it's always worth stopping to listen in the mornings. Now those little ones, they're not fully adult. And they're still making, I don't know if you know the sound that day-old chicks make. I'm sure you've all seen those day-old chicks, those little yellow chickens. And that rather delightful sound they make, that sort of whistling sound that they make to each other. Well, Franktons do exactly the same sort of thing. Just listen carefully. Naturally, they've stopped doing it now. I don't know where, I think they seem to have left their parents now. They're just slightly smaller than adults. And the Franklins, quite interestingly, in fact, and I don't really understand this. So quite late. I mean, they've only just kind of, um, there were a few of them that had tiny little babies sort of a, three weeks ago. Now that's the middle of winter and a Franklin is ostensibly a seed eater and insect eater. So you'd expect it to have babies, I would have thought, during the summer months. Let's see what it has to say. Breeding, monogamous, solitary nester, males compete for mates, yes, yes, blah, blah. Laying dates, October to March. That's interesting. So we've had some late ones. That's really interesting, actually. So it's supposed to be October to March that they give birth, which would make complete sense, because that's when the rain is, there are insects and their seeds around. These ones around here, this is not the only clutch. Those, those Franklins are probably about three weeks old. Okay, let's head across to Byron. He's got 